morning. Got a lot of cloud cover today. Nobody takes, I don't think a lot of people take pictures. I'm just going to do a 360 with my body. This fire started already, so they're covering the sky. I'm going to get a... Nucleation. And those look like chem bombs, maybe? They're to make it cool. All this. The whole guy's like this. There's those wisps over there. I call them chem bombs, but. Geoengineering is the proper name. It's the whole sky, and pretty soon this will just, this is, will be the underneath part. As you can see, it's morphing here already, and up here. I guess we're trying to manage. Well, we kept spraying, spraying, spraying all these chemicals. They hit the ground. My toenails are falling off. It must mean something. I'm not unhealthy. And that's about two or three years it's been happening. Where they get dirt under them from the garden and they simply fall off. It didn't used to happen. But all this stuff here has got to come down somewhere. Maybe great for now to cover this. And maybe they need silver iodide. But there could be, uh, I don't know exactly what they put in the coolant, but it sure rips the. It, it looks like it's ripping the sky apart, but it's all fake. That's why it looks like that. That's well, a cover for the sun. Birds don't like it as much. They seem to hide in the trees more. It's getting very cool. I think it's going to be 12 degrees high, 12 degrees negative. That's that they said the forecast is today. Now, if, they, if it's 12 degrees negative uh, Celsius, that may cause some of our gardens to freeze. That's why when I make my garden, I, I leave this grass around it. Not much is there today because I just, we just did the lawn again. So, uh, leave this a little bit, of, you know, grass around the garden. I can cover it if I think there's going to be a real frost. I don't know how well that'll survive. Notice our sunflowers are kind of flowering before they get large. It's kind of, that's not, a, I don't think it's good. Excuse me. And, uh, here's the plants, my little lean too. I got lots of them coming up there now. Because you can still transplant and grow until what, September, October? Unless we get snow. So I'm filling the place up. I got two pieces of wood in here so far. I have one or two more. I don't know how to place them yet. I haven't done that yet to make a floor. It's just a quick whatever I can figure out. It gets very hot in this place here. Because that plastic is for drywall. This plastic is drywall plastic. And this is stuff for drywall. To lay down, put the drywall on. And, or put the plastic on, then this on, and then the drywall all over top. I think that's how it works. But, yeah. Yeah. Sunflowers didn't do so great here. One's growing. I have some beans in there, but... Yeah. You feed the birds there. And then here's some stuff I just left over here. I can move this if I have to. Ugh, there's so many mosquitoes. If I 
jump around, that's why. So, you know, just checking the leaves. Cut these to get these into ants. I have an ant's nest here, but I don't see any ants. So I don't know where they are. It's a cold day now because they did this. So whether this is going to go away, I don't know today. But it might be coming just one solid sky. Be nice to get a bit of sun because I watered the grass and it's all it's still wet. Yeah, I got some sage in here. That common sage. Yeah, and then I just, that was a plant that I ate from. <laughs> there's beans in there. And then there's chia seeds everywhere. I threw them everywhere, and I have mint right there. It looks like it got cold or buggy. Probably cold. Because the temperature is quite cool. Right now I'm cold. That man's like water and everything for quite a while. But he's a good gardener. Yeah, he made some nut trees. He's got a cherry tree. And these are berry trees. Nice berry trees this year. As soon as he took it, paid attention to them, they started to grow really well. See, this, this is all morphed, so I suspect the sky might go white today. Because that's the way they, all this, should join and knit together. Looks like knitting to me. This here is a coolant. You can obvious that what that is. And that one there. That one. Very obvious. Just the way it wisps like that. That's like cool to make it cool and all this the blanket and my son did notice that the sun was coming up in a different spot I said that and it's setting way over here already like over here somewhere so and it usually should be over here and this one here I don't know where it should be. Over there. Yeah. Over here. More. It's here. And it was, should have been down here more. But it might be not late enough in the summer. I'm not sure. I'm just showing you the sky. Our sky in Williams Lake, BC. Do engineering. Doing its job. But I still say, if we haven't been spraying and fooling around with the weather, we wouldn't have left chemicals on the grass and the dry grass in the bush and um, caused more fires. Aluminum uh, is, is a fiber, it's a nano, a nano fiber uh, with a, uh, it's clear and I believe it looks pink when it's, it has like the edges of these fibers are aluminum. They're so very small. Rev. Michelle Hopkins, or man, talked about it. She's got a lot of good stuff on her site. And she really went into everything. And I think she's having a baby. Yeah. I saw your ultrasound. Congratulations, lady. Love you. Very nice person. She deserves what she has. Very nice person. So, I'm not going to make this 10 hours long. I don't want to talk your ear off. And I just might put music to it. There's the our sky. Now I'm going to turn this off and take some black, black, uh, well, it's a setting. <laughs> I can't remember it. Namaste. Good morning.